there's some sometimes like um, where I don't really feel that I'm cared about at all. Mm -hmm. Like, um, like I don't I don't have the feeling that um, the the personal opinion of each student counts a lot. Mm -hmm. And I would really like to be asked more. And because I think there are so many students who have really really good ideas to improve school and the whole school system. And if if like the government would just get it, get in a school and ask the students what could be done better, I think there would be incredible ideas. And I mean, just think about how much school system could actually be improved if just the people were just asked. Here is our office, the main office. I, I would really like to see in Lithuania that when you're an activist in school society, you're appreciated and you're supported. The schools, in practically most of the cases, simply ignore them. And because, in the administration opinion, the, those kind of activists, they, they only pose some sort of a threat to the administration because... It's uh, lowering the voting age from 18 to 16 local elections. The curriculum in Sweden is really good. The worst part is our uh, our work plan in school and you know what subjects do you teach and what uh, skills and knowledges do you uh, do you get I think that's the worst part uh, because uh, well it don't prepare you for the life we are sitting uh, trying to focus on the big cut downs uh, that uh, you say are making the education bleed in Denmark uh, there are presented big cut downs on the, the Danish national budget this year today there's a banner drop and the Handing out flyers in the morning, we've done that. This was no uh, ordinary school, in the sense that uh, this was a democratic school, which means that all the decisions concerning the school uh, are made by the students. Yeah, here in Switzerland, um, the USA struggles a lot to get enough participants for the for the events. We say that in Switzerland they just have it too good. They don't see that it could be much better, that we should have more influence on what's happening in school or not. Hi, I'm Iris and we're today in, in St. Gilgen in, in Salzburg in, in Austria. We met the educational minister in Slovenia personally and talked to him about better transportation situation for the school students. Okay, hi, my name is Andrea Sajadi. I'm from uh, UDS in Italy. Today we're here to say no to the current political status in Italy, to say no against the schools that are being closed and uh, against people who have no job and no security of a future. So we want to say that we want a future, we want to keep fighting. We have we'll do this a complex educational system and complex political situation in our country. When we said, like, okay, we're going to change the law, people were like, oh, no, it's, no, it's never going to happen, you know. But then uh, when we changed the law of education, it was a really, really big step forward. In Serbia, it's, it's easy. All you need to, to have a mobile phone of a young MP and the next thing is a meeting in the National Assembly. The Union of Hungarian High School Students from Romania. The problem with the Romanian educational system is that we are learning uh, too much things, in too much, we are going into too much details and we don't focus on our career and we don't focus on our future.